That's atrocious. If a drink could be burned, I would incinerate this drink. We're gonna try out these margarita mixers, these things that come in bottles that you buy at a liquor or grocery store and see if any of them aren't garbage. We did an episode recently about Bloody Mary mixers. Having done that, my expectations are lowered. I was not thrilled with what we found out there. I thought that between the two, those would be good and that these would be trash. If these are gonna be worse, hachi machi, we're in for it today. But let's start things off right. Let's make a margarita the way I always like to make a margarita, which isn't that often because I'm not big on margaritas, but I do, you know, occasionally like a margarita. All right, so uh, the standard classic margarita, as it should be made in the old way, is gonna be one ounce of lime juice. If you're just tuning in to how to drink for the first time, it might be something that you're thinking of a margarita as a blender drink. Not traditionally, a margarita should be a shaken, spirit forward classic cocktail from Prohibition, actually. I think that's about where it evolves from. It might be even a pre-Prohibition cocktail. Off the top of my head, I would have a hard time telling you. We did a frozen margaritas episode. We had some really fun and pleasant surprises there. There's nothing wrong with a frozen margarita, but I just wanted to point out that traditionally they're not frozen. And none of the margaritas today, so far as I know, will be frozen. I think all of these, I don't think any of these call for a blender. If any of them say it's gotta be blended, I guess we'll do a blender margarita, but I'm really hoping to not have to bust out a blender today. One ounce of lime juice. You know, I'll tell you what, if we're gonna do it my own way, I'm gonna split it, be half an ounce of Cointreau. Half an ounce of dry curacao, which is just a little bit sweeter, so that way we get a little bit of a little bit of both. I will use whatever tequila is on hand because we're trying to keep things like this is my mixer, right? But we want to keep things fair, so we're going to use the Jose Cuervo, which is what we're going to use for everything else, unless we run out. My sighting isn't so good. I think we should be good. I'm not sure if that's enough or not. But yeah, use whatever orange liqueur you want. Cointreau and triple sec are gonna be on the drier tartar side. Grand Marnier and curacao, that kind of stuff is going to be a little bit sweeter, a little bit more rounder. There you go. Get yourself some ice. Good enough. Just between you and me, we just shot that Bloody Mary episode, so I'm in orbit. Not, I'm over here orbiting the moon. Oh, that's a joke your grandparents would have told. Uh, <laughs> just making honeymooners references. I pre-salted my rim because I'm trying to save a little time on this shoot. And there you have it, a classic margarita. How is it? It's delicious, it's well-balanced, it's tart, it's bracing. It is certainly not lacking sweetness, even though we didn't add any sugar to it. Traditionally, they weren't sweetened, but there's nothing wrong with sweetening it if you like. I think that if you go for the salt, you'll find that the contrast actually makes the drink sweeter, which is funny. You can add salt to something and make it taste sweeter in a weird way. Um, so moving that train of uh, doomed destiny right along, Let's take a look at Josie Cuerva, classic margarita mix in giant letters. Just add Cuervo tequila, the original margarita. They put a lot of things on here. We got a banner, we got a badge, we got a title, we got a rocker over the title. Boy, there's a lot going on. 0% juice, that's nice. It says I should one and a half ounces of tequila, four and a half ounces of mix, ice, and then whip it in a blender uh, or serve it on the rocks. Okay, if it was blender mandatory, I'd be pissed. Okay, well, here we go. There's actually, if you're gonna shake it, there's no reason to put it on the rocks. It's the same difference, right? It's like accelerated rocks. So we will we'll shake this. This, um, I'm going to assume that what's in this bottle is Gatorade. There we go, four ounces of Gatorade. Now I did that long pour, why? Because I wanted to show how thick and syrupy this is. I'm not joking, like there's a different kind of pour that you can do depending on what it is. Your spirits tend to not shoot that far. They don't have the viscosity. They're gonna come almost straight off the end. This one goes, <laughs> All right, one and a half ounces of this. Ice and shake. There you go. All right, let's get some ice. All right, here we go. Cocktail glass. Here we go, uh, Cuervo. Whoa, is that bad? Oh man, that tastes like sweet orange plastic. God damn, that's rough, man. That is not good. I know why they salt that, so you can't taste it. It's got like a real menthol finish too, which I think is actually the tequila. For starters, that is syrupy sweet, cloyingly sweet. That is gross. Oh man, that's fucking terrible. I actually got a note in there that was like reminiscent of Kowling wine. I'm not joking, like there's like some dog in that, some fucking dog fur, wet, soaking, stink dog. 
I'm angry about this and I don't want you to buy it. I truly hate this. Ah, oh, it sucks. Man, that sucks. And that's our first stop on this train of pain. And I can't wait to see where I'm going from here. I just feel like this is my soul leaving my body. This is depression nailing me. Meredith, you wanna, you wanna try this little beauty? I don't feel I need to, but I will. I don't feel you need to either. <laughs> you know, everything that's good about a margarita is left that lot. <laughs> <laughs> if a drink could be burned, I would incinerate this drink. Uh, right after this, I'm gonna make another mixed up margarita. Let's hope the next one is better. Are we doing the Mon In next? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know Mon In made one. I didn't either. I was shocked to see it. Okay. I'll try anything once. Uh, <laughs> Ranger Greg here, and I am partnered with Yellowstone Bourbon to take you on a mixological tour of the national parks. So let's go. Aloha! Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island of Hawaii is home to two active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. And it's one of the only places on Earth where you could be guaranteed to see an active lava flow, either by hike or helicopter. That's because Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes in the world, and it's been erupting continuously since 1983. I got to visit the park when I was a teenager, and it was one of the most amazing places I've ever been. I remember there being these hot sulfur vents all over the place. They smelled awful. Uh, one of the many things I've never seen anywhere else in my life. But don't worry, I'm not going to be drawing inspiration from sulfur vents for this drink. You know, the Mai Tai is a drink that is often mistakenly associated with Hawaii. The truth is that it comes from California. That hasn't stopped tourists from ordering them on their Hawaiian vacations since the 1930s. But I did think that Hawaii deserved its own version of the drink, one that drew on the macadamia nuts that are grown there on the Big Island rather than the almond that you'll find in a Mai Tai. So I call this drink a lava tube. This is a shaken drink. I'm gonna start with a quarter ounce of lime juice, just a touch, right? Not a lot. And now I need a half an ounce of velvet falernum, a half an ounce of curacao, not the blue kind. I'm gonna need a half an ounce of pineapple juice, one ounce of a macadamia orgeat. It is nothing more than a one-to-one -one simple syrup replacing the water for macadamia nut milk. And two ounces of Yellowstone bourbon. I'm gonna get some ice and shake this drink up. Just do an open pour here. Suggest garnishing that with some fresh mint. And there we have my lava tube. Oh my gosh, delicious. The sweet macadamia nut, the mint, and the Yellowstone bourbon combine to be this just wonderfully tropical transport of flavor. I'm kind of in love with the way this came out. This year, Yellowstone Bourbon has donated $250,000 to the National Parks Conservation Association, making them NPCA's largest annual corporate donor. By choosing to drink Yellowstone, you're choosing to preserve and protect our national parks. So to find a bottle near you, visit limestonebranch.com or visit curiata.com for free online shipping. And now back to the show. Well, this one says, home-crafted cocktail mixers, les mixoires de mon uh, margarita and married with thoughtful says. One thing I know about the French, they know about a margarita. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh, that's sarcasm. <laughs> a refreshing balance sweetened heart, 12 ounce glass with ice, add three ounces of mon in, one and a half tequila. So it's two parts, to one to two. Stir and uh, garnish with a squeeze of lime. Okay. And a salt rim if prefer. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a two to one ratio and in our case, it makes no difference if you shake or stir, we're gonna shake. They say stir gently, that makes zero sense because honestly, I want this drink to be crisp and cold. Uh, here we go, three ounces of Monin. That's thick shit, man. That is syruply thick. Okay, there's like lime cordial notes in there. It kind of reminds me of Rose's lime juice. Might be more like a uh, tequila gimlet, which is an interesting concept. One and a half ounces of our tequila for this guy. Ice, ice, baby. Stop, collaborate and listen. Vanilla Ice is on a mission. Salt rimmed glass, we salt it before the show. Frothy, I mean frothy like an egg white almost. Look at that, some kind of protein in there for sure. There we have the Monin shaken, well maybe that's why they said to stir it so gently because it's protonated, I don't know. I'd love to know what protein is in my margarita. That seems a little unsettling. Uh, one lime wedge, there we go. Here we go, without further ado, the Monin Margarita. Frothiness is kind of freaking me out. It looks more like a whiskey sour. It's way better than the Cuervo. That is not saying much. There is a real off note in there still of like melting plastic. It's not quite as prominent here as it was in the Cuervo, 
I don't like it. Otherwise though, it is less sweet. It's a lot less sweet. It's a lot more tart. So it gets points there. On the whole, I'd say skip it. I think you can do a lot better just making your own. So by the way, all the glassware on the show today was provided by Visky. Visky reached out to me. They said, we'd like to be a sponsor of the show. And I said, well, why not? You make nice glassware. And so they sent me a bunch of glasses and now they're a sponsor on the show. And if you like this glass or any of the other glasses in the show, you can use the link up here in the info card or the one in the pinned comment and use code HowToDrink15 at checkout. And you can get uh, all of their glassware at 15% off. So, and thank you, Visky, for sponsoring the show. Meredith, do you have any interest? She has no interest. She believes me. Well, let's move things right along to our next margarita, Strong Water Mountain Ilks. Perfect margarita cocktail syrup. They say I should use an ounce of margarita syrup, two ounces of tequila, and one ounce of water. Fascinating. And uh, makes a perfect margarita to serve over ice. And they say I should serve it over ice, kind of like in a rocks glass. Uh, I think this glass is bigger than it looks, so we'll try this one. It's a grower, not a shower. All right. One ounce of syrup. Here we go. That's a sound. That's like a cartoon glug. Bloop, 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 bloop. Two ounces of tequila. Told you it's bigger than it looks. And an ounce of water, apparently? I don't know why. All right, here we go. This is the um, Strong Water Perfect Margarita. Here we go. A little pepper in there or something, like a little habanero note. Ooh, it started out nice and then it got a little rough. Actually, maybe that habanero note is an accident created by there being poison in this. I'll try it again with some salt. Ooh. Well, at least it doesn't have the burning, melting plastic notes, and it's not super duper sweet. I, th I think this might be the best one yet. There's an off note in there that's like, um, I hate to say chemically because everything is made of chemicals. I'm made of chemicals. This bar is made of chemicals. That camera is made of chemicals. It's all chemicals, right? I hate to say that. Maybe it's acetony is the right word or hairspray-ish. It's a tiny note. Yeah, there it is. It comes in pretty quick and gets out pretty quick. Not my favorite. I would never want to drink it again unless I had to drink one of these three, in which case I would, but I have no desire to drink it again. Up next, stirrings margarita. Okay, so let's get into stirrings right after this. Here we go. Stirrings margarita, key lime juice cocktail. Oh. You like key lime, Mary? Oh yeah. You know how you make that? It's not something you bake. It's it's like a jello. You, it's actually what it is, is it's clotted. You take like, I think you'd use heavy cream and this bottled key lime juice, and you mix them together in a pan, and there you go, key lime pie. <laughs> Just thickens up, turns, it, cur it, it curdles it right up solid. Uh, I like this, not a libation, a lifestyle. Uh, don't cheat yourself, et cetera, et cetera, marketing speak. Three ounces cocktail mixer, one and a half tequila with ice, strain, okay, so it means shake, into a rim glass with lime. I'm gonna skip the lime, I'm busy. Okay, that's two, that's three. One and a half ounces of tequila. Ice. Oops, oops. I don't usually get this drunk on the show. I am getting pretty drunk on this one. Here we go. This is the Stirrings Margarita. Okay, a little salt on this one. Oh, that's good salt. A little skunky note there. A little bit tastes like weed. I actually said, I hate this one the least. It doesn't taste tremendously like a margarita. It is more like a tequila gimlet than anything else. It does a pretty good job of being a te tequila gimlet, to be honest. And there's certainly no notes in here that are gross. So I can give it that much credit, right? A lot of these other guys had stuff that was like, oh, this tastes like burning plastic, you know, like bad. At least this isn't that. So by far, and I, I'm not joking here, by far, this is my favorite of the pre-mixed ones so far. Uh, which is funny because their Bloody Mary was fuck all awful. It was truly a ghastly experience. It's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's within the range of acceptability for a margarita. A lot of people like their margaritas this sweet. I, I would not say it's cloying even. I mean, it's it's certainly less sweet than the Jose. Um, I really, I'm curious what you think, Meredith, because... Better. It is better. Yeah. It's, a pro it's approaching lime, <laughs> but it's still not great. Well, it's like a lime cordial, which I think is about yeah. as good as you can do with a bottle. Yeah. Um, I would also say too, is that like, it would, this is what I was gonna say, would you not say it is remarkable how much better this is than their Bloody Mary mix? Certainly, yeah, I mean, for sure. That's what is so frustrating sometimes is you think, oh, this is a good brand, I can trust this brand, but like, not necessarily. Stirrings, they do a great margarita, I, well not great, they do an acceptable margarita. They do a fucking garbage Bloody Mary. Like, it's atrociously bad. It was the one 
margarita mix that made me damn near wretch. You wanna move it right on to tray agaves? Yeah, or to that one, and we also, did you do the Mr. and Mrs. T on? No, we could do Mr. T. Yeah, because that also Pretty had a Bloody Mary counterpart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. Craft with cane sugar, real agave. Is it salty as hell again? 85, no. They were all salty last time. Yeah. All right, what's the directions? Apply a rim and a blender. All right, so the ratio here is one and a half ounces of tequila to a can. One and a half ounces of Ose Cuervo. Let's get some ice in there. Here we go, shake it, rake it, do. So I'm shaking the hell out of this because their can kind of implies that they prefer to be blended. So I'm getting it real cold, real done up. And I'm gonna pour it into a witty bitty glass. It's all air bubbles. Here we go, Mrs. T. Mr. and Mrs. T. Oh my God. That's atrocious. That's real bad. That is the, um, that's all that is. That's lime freezy pop from your freezer with tequila in it. Might as well be a wine cooler. Also it kind of tastes like pool, like the smell around a swimming pool. Chlorine? Not quite chlorine, but yeah. There's really not much more to say. It's just, it's real, it's not good. Cannot endorse, bad. Don't drink. Overall, yeah, the Bloody Marys actually showed some very, like some of them had ideas. Yeah. I didn't love the ideas. I didn't always love the, uh, the execution, but they had ideas. But in truth, from a flavor science perspective, there's so much less you can do here. It's a tiny target they're trying to hit. It's a narrow target. It's very hard to hit. Mixers for classic cocktails, like a pre-mixed classic cocktail is hard. You know, like you look at canned cocktails, a canned old fashioned, I think we did an episode on that, right? Yeah. Check it out, check it out in the, either in the corner or in the pinned comment. Those canned old fashions, man, I don't think, were any of them good? I'm trying to remember. Yes, like the Post Meridian has a good one. Okay. This, the old fashions, they were either too sweet, or but there were a couple good ones. There were a couple. The Post Meridian stands okay. out because I know, I know that brand. I think also though, by and large, my attitude was like, but why? Mm -hmm. But why? <laughs> so easy to make, you know? Anyway, uh, up next, let's do the classic lime margarita mix from Tres Agaves. I believe that you're not supposed to pronounce the S. It's just Tres Agaves. Tres Agaves. Tres Agaves. All right, let's see here. Two ounces of tequila, four, okay, so it's a one to two. Four ounces of mix, two ounces of cuerva. Wicked nar, bro. Get that cuerva in there. Yeah, for sure. You think there are any people who still talk like that? The turtle from uh, Nemo does. Oh yeah, wow. Ah, uh, Malibu. You got some energy back there. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> feeling spry, I'm feeling young. It must be all the margaritas. Um, all right, here we go. What is this? Tres agaves. Okay. Tres agaves. Let's see how it is. All right, I am putting my notes in my head. I want Meredith to taste this before oh, I say no. a word. Yeah, Meredith. Tell me what that tastes like. Very frothy. That tastes like weed? Mm. <laughs> Her face. Oh, she's like, yes. Wow, yeah. Yes. Man, we, I wish we had a camera pointing this way. <laughs> the realization <laughs> on your face when I said that was mine. Awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> That's happened several times with yeah. pre-made margaritas. Yeah. So I wonder what that. that but that's like uncanny. Yeah. That's beyond the pale. I was breathing in as I took the second sip and I could have been convinced I was taking a hit. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like weed, guys. I don't know what to say. Um, and not much else, to be honest, except I got a little cotton candy at the very end there. I kind of wonder what that third agave is in there. <laughs> oh, I don't think it's an agave, bro. <laughs> oh, I think it's something else, Mr. Hand. That's my notes. Tastes like weed and maybe cotton candy later. Uh, right after this, we're gonna get to- Do you wanna do all of these? I don't feel like we're, we're going to- I'm in for a penny, in for a pound, all baby. All right, all right, all right, all right. Up next, Aglima. Let's go. So let's move it right along now to Aglima. And I think this is the one that was real sticky on the outside when we got it, and I don't know why this lid is kind of snapped and broken. Well, I feel reasonably safe trying it anyway. 
Where's the recipe? Perfect margarita. Two ounces of tequila, four ounces of aglima. Shake with ice, put it in our salt rim glass. Aglima. It sounds like, that sounds like a beauty product. Aglima. Watch the years roll away when you get aglima from <laughs> oil de tequila. Okay, two ounces of aglima. Oh, you know what aglima sounds like? Mm. Aglima. <laughs> My aglima. <laughs> That's what a glima sounds like. Oh, I'm supposed to use four of them anyway. Uh, is it aga glima? Oh yeah, it is aga glima. Aga lima. Aga lima. Aga lima. Yeah, it's great. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Aga lima. Very frothy. Oops. Yep, got it. Sometimes you ever um. No, never mind. I guess you wouldn't. I was going to say, you ever go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you're trying to pee in the dark and you're having a hard time, you got to work by sonar to get it? No, you don't. No. Nope. No, no, no. No, we go right up to the landing dock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Agalima. Real sweet. Way too sweet. I mean, it's basically just sweet. Not good at all. Uh, honestly, no. Just not interesting. Not bad. Doesn't have those like real gross parts to it, but I don't need a second sip. It's just sweet and vaguely limey. Like there's not a lot to say about it. Uh, let's move it along to Barsmith. I mean, does it taste, it tastes like a lime flavored thing. It doesn't taste like lime at all. All of these products, none of them successful. I don't uh, No, I thought one was pretty okay. I, look, none of them are gonna be as good as, as classic. I know, but like, Phil Shaker, halfway with ice, I had six ounces of margarita mix and four ounces of tequila. Uh, we'll do three, two, Jesus. Shake and pour, et cetera, et cetera. Um, here we go, three ounces of, oh, what is this even? I didn't even name it. Barsmith Margarita Triple Citrus, non-GMO. Okay. <laughs> I think it smells bad. Okay. We're gonna make it, the bottle's gonna make it. Yep, here we go. It's pink. There's a pinkishness to that color. Not much, but it's a little bit pink compared to everybody else. That's kind of weird. That's weird. Jesus. Here we go. Whoa! Atrocious. Oh man, we're back to Kowling territory again. Oh wow, that's bad. Oh, that's pukey. Fuck that shit. That's really awful. I have a garbage can. I mean, that's fucking bad. It's just really, truly, I mean, whatever it is that's in um, Kinmen Kowling that makes it taste like soak and wet dog, it tastes like that. It's really extremely bad. Don't drink this. There's no redeeming quality. There's like those signs that they put around where they're planning to put toxic, like nuclear waste dumps. Nothing of value is inside. Turn back now. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't have any more thoughts. I mean, my brain is very empty of thoughts at the moment because of the drinking, but that's Really fucking bad. Um, right after this, let's move on to our final one, Powell and Mahoney. All right, here we go, Powell and Mahoney. So the first thing I wanna point out was that um, this had some stuff sitting on the bottom of it. I consider that a good sign. It has a very short list of ingredients. I don't know anything about this. Meredith picked it up. It sounds like okay. Three ounces, so it's two to one. Three ounce margarita mix to one and a half tequila. Shake and serve. God, I just got a hankering to go to like the worst kind of restaurant. Mm. You ever been to a Texas Roadhouse? Mm -hmm. Did we do Texas? Yeah, we did Texas Roadhouse. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's the only time I've ever been though, is when we went for the show. The only time you ever needed to Yeah. <laughs> Truly bad. Okay, here we go. Three ounces of Powell and Mahoney. That's two, that's three. One and a half ounces of our tequila. All right, here we go. Let's shake this up. And one, and two. Our, that one's also kind of pink, isn't it? Maybe it's like your shirt is reflecting. I mean, nothing about our lighting setup has changed. And it's a different shaker and the strength, it, it, no, I don't know. Okay, here we go. It's on the sweet end of what's an acceptable margarita. Honestly, I think that might even be the best one. The only reason I'm hesitant to say that is because it's the last one. Yeah, same. So it feels a little convenient, but also, I'm at my drunkest state of the evening here. Uh, yeah, but you hated the last one, and you're not that much drunker true. now than you were last one. No, check check my notes, Meredith. Tell me if that's all right. 
It's better without the salt. The salt robs it of flavor. Okay. Well, no, I get a little tartness on that one. You do. Yeah. yeah. Because, well, it's Meredith. This is 23% juice. Oh. Not zero percent juice. Look at the colors. Just put the that and the Jose next to each other. I mean, for real. There's no joke, though. I mean, like you're not kidding. It's genuinely not that bad. I, I have to say, of the ones here, that's I guess the one to get. What is it called? Powell and Mahoney. The uh, there was a few others that we liked. The Trace Agaves, besides being sort of weed weed flavored. No, the Trace Agaves wasn't. Besides being, it was only <laughs> weed flavored. I'm sorry. That's right. That was the one that was. Weed. And uh, the stirrings. Oh, the stirrings was okay. And I swear this one was okay. I couldn't tell you which glass it was anymore. I feel like you'd get that at a restaurant and be like, it's not a very good margarita, but you're not sending it back. Dude, if I ordered that at, at um, Chili's or whatever, I would be fucking thrilled. If a chain restaurant poured me one of those, I'd be over the damn moon. Wouldn't you? Yeah, sure. If that showed up on Chains of America, which is a series you should watch. It's up here in the corner, in the, <laughs> in the corner or in the pin comment below. No, man, I'd be over the moon. That'd be fantastic. All right, thank you so much for, there, do you have any closing? Do you have any closing thoughts here, by the way? There are, I don't know if we'll make a whole episode out of it, but there are a whole bunch of other cocktail mixers. I've seen one ones for old fashions okay. and all sorts of things. Maybe we'll pick up some of those. All right, well, maybe we'll do some more of these crazy mixers. Until then, this is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, that's Meredith. Uh, today, I did these. I did all of those. I put them up in me, and uh, they did things to me, and I did things to them, and uh, we're all a little changed for the, at, the, at the end of the day. We're all a little different. Nobody enters this room and exits the same way they came in. It's going to change you. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on HD. In the meantime, Meredith and I have a podcast. We've got a podcast. It's called Midnight Local. You should totally check it out. It's it's great. It's the best podcast of them all. I'm telling you. You if you haven't heard it, you are missing out. You can find it in the link in the pin comment below or up here in the corner, or you can go to bit.ly slash midnight local, or there's a whole YouTube channel for it. It's on video. It's at uh, youtube.com slash midnight local. What do we talk about, Meredith? Movies and stuff and things and stuff. Movies and stuff and things and stuff. So if you are interested in movies and stuff and things and stuff, uh, come on over to Midnight Local and hang out with us on the couch, okay? We'll have some Funyuns, it'll be great. See you guys next time on How to Drink, a show which I have been making for, uh, since the dawn of time. Here are links. Bye.